Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so welcome to another video. Uh, I don't know if I can consider this barbecue talk because although we are talking about barbecue, we are gonna be doing more than just talking, but we're, we're gonna start building some rubs. Today, what I'm gonna show you is three really simple, um, but kind of different uh, rubs. And I'm gonna basically call these pantry rubs. Um, the reason being is I wanted to create three recipes that it's really easy for anyone to replicate at home. Uh, for those of you guys who have a bunch of like spices in your, uh, in your spice cabinet because you do a lot of barbecue, um, you should have everything here. Uh, I'm gonna keep it super basic because I, I just wanna give a foundation of something that you can take, adjust, and build on top of. One is gonna be the one that everyone is kind of like saying that this is the only way in Texas is the salt and pepper. So we'll talk a little bit about pepper uh, in this episode. Uh, and then I wanted to do one that is a little bit uh, closer to something that I remember, which is uh, a little bit of a sweeter um, rub that you know you would probably find in like your grocery store aisles where everyone has their own custom blends where there is a little bit of spice, there's a lot of paprika, there's some sugar in there. Uh, and then lastly, I wanted to do one uh, that is a little bit savory. Um, so it's gonna be, it's not necessarily a Cajun rub, but um, you know, it's one that doesn't have that much, uh, it doesn't have any sugar at all. Um, but I do like to add onto things when I don't necessarily want the food that I'm cooking to be sweet. So with that being said, guys, we're gonna jump right into uh, making these rubs. And um, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. As many of you guys know, the main ingredient for that is the black pepper. And now this is a 16 mesh black pepper. So I don't know if you can see that, but it is pretty, it is pretty coarse, but they're not as big as people think that is. The larger the mesh, the smaller the pieces of pepper will be. And 16 is kind of like that sweet spot where it's really close to the same, uh, size of the salt. You know, in my salt video, uh, that I talked about before uh, with my brisket I like using the Morton's I do like that it is a little bit bigger chunks other note for this one when you're buying your own uh, your own pepper usually in almost every situation other than this I would say you're using freshly ground black pepper it tends to be a little bit on the spicier end and not so much that floral note um, that you're looking for when you're cooking a brisket. And in terms of the ratio, something that I'll do is probably, I don't know, I'll probably do anything that's like maybe five parts pepper to three parts salt if I'm doing, um, you know, if I'm doing with the Morton's, but if I'm using the diamond, I might do, um, you know, a six, uh, six pepper to three cups of, you know, of salt. So it's up to you, but uh, for me, the big important part is the pepper itself. Um, trying to find the 16 mesh as best you can. I think it is it is the best ground to use, but again, a lot of people use a 12. They mix the 12 and the 16, so play around with it, and um, yeah, have fun with this one. So for this rub, we're just gonna basically do, um, uh, this is what I call my basic rub. This is the rub that I used to use all the time when I got started doing barbecue. You're gonna know, start off with black pepper, equal parts paprika, a little bit of garlic, cayenne, and lastly, we're gonna put in some brown sugar. So the one thing about the brown sugar is because there is some moisture in here, brown sugar uh, is just basically um, regular white sugar mixed with some molasses and the difference between light and dark is the amount of molasses that's inside the brown sugar. It, uh, the brown sugar does tend to make the rub clump a little bit. Um, one thing that I would highly recommend is that you put the brown sugar in first, which I'm an idiot because I put it in last, um, but try to break it up as much as you can uh, just so that like you can see right now we got a lot of like clumps that are forming and it's gonna basically there are gonna be chunks of brown sugar and then it's going to basically be balls of brown sugar clumped in whatever spices that you got now again the one thing that we didn't add in here is the salt um, and if you guys uh, like I said in that salt vi or salt video that I talked about uh, I tend to or something that I'm playing around with now and I'm gonna try to practice with this is to keep the salt outside the rub and to put it on top of the meat first and then put the rub on top because 
um, if you guys remember me talking about it, is that um, sometimes the salt doesn't stick because of all of that powder with the paprika and the cayenne. Um, it, if, it, if that's the person that hits the surface of the meat, it might not allow that salt to stick. So I'm gonna try to separate this all together. So there you go, guys. Uh, it's a little bit more even. Uh, if you do have those clumps, just put on a glove and just basically just massage that brown sugar into the rub itself. Again, you wanna make sure it's nice and even so that it coats right and we don't have clumps of brown sugar um, just sitting on top of whatever we're cooking. All right, next up is we're gonna be doing a more savory rub. This is also a rub that I use on a daily basis, so I am gonna make a larger batch of this one. So we're gonna start off with some paprika, dried oregano, dried thyme, pepper, garlic, and lastly, a little bit of cayenne. kind of like that savory, um, I guess you can call it Cajun-ish rub. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, I just wanted to make this very simple. Um, obviously there are ways that we can go really in depth and try to make uh, a really um, exotic rub, I guess, by using different types of spices. But, you know, just kind of like when you're cooking barbecue, um, when you start to change too many things um, at one time, you don't really know what works and doesn't work. And in the same sense with these rubs, uh, I just wanted to kind of have a, a place where uh, for you guys kind of start to play around with one or two different things, maybe we, maybe take away a couple things um, and just kind of go from there. Also, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that, you know, you don't need to have the 16 mesh black pepper for, um, well, technically for any of these, you know, it, like I said, everything is just kind of like what you like. Uh, but, you know, I wouldn't go out of your way to, you know, uh, buy an ex expensive 16 mesh black pepper for, you know, for that, for that basic rub, just because unless you're really keen on seeing that black pepper pop in, in your, your rub, I, I don't really think you need it. So we're gonna end the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and um, make sure if you have any topics, comments, questions that you have, leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.